Hey, what's up? It's your girl Sakara, and you already know you are now tuned into one of my reviews. Today, I am reviewing it's Paul Brown. What genre is this? I love it. Honestly, I did not research it's Paul Brown. I didn't figure out anything about him, what his typical type of music is, nothing. All I did was listen to it, and I love the six tracks. I do. And we're going to start off with the first track. It's called Good Friend. Now, this is a super upbeat song. So I heard the beat. I'm like, okay. Then I hear the voice come in. The voice is so deep. I loved it, though, because I wasn't expecting it. Because if you had this upbeat beat, you're expecting like probably like a higher voice. At least that's what I was looking for. Like I thought I was going to hear a high-pitched voice instead. His voice was mad deep. And I was already interested because I'm like, okay, that was a different twist. But my favorite part was that the song is actually motivational and inspirational. So... He said, does she really want life to end or does she just need a really good friend? I love that because a lot of people, everybody knows what's going on. Everybody knows more people are depressed. The suicide rate is different this because of this pandemic. This year, last year, everything has changed and it's very hard for a lot of people. So I'm happy that this song was upbeat. It was a song that people could say, all right, maybe, maybe you were sad before you heard it, but maybe you heard it and then all of a sudden you like, maybe it's not that bad so shout out to him for that so the second song let's go way up let's go way up is dope it's also one of those songs that has like a good vibe you ever hear a beat or you hear a song and you feel a vibe of peace because i'm a i'm a firm believer that music could either make you aggressive it can make you feel calm it can make you feel attractive sexy whatever Music has the ability to change how you think and how you feel. And I think that's why a lot of people use music as an escape route. Let's be honest. If you're feeling like you you angry, you might put on some 50 Cent. Maybe some Meek Mill. It depends on how you feel that day, alright? So that's why I want to talk about this song. He goes, I got a lot on my mind. Got a lot on my plate. Don't be wasting my time that I ain't got to waste. Now that is a line that everybody can relate to time waits for nobody everybody wish they had more time and it's crazy because even though a lot of people lost their jobs i'm sure many people feel like time flew and you don't really know how or, or what you did during that time you just know it went like this so that's why i say this is dope also this song sounds like multiple artists on one track i thought that was really cool he's one artist but i guess the way his voice fluctuates and his can his cadence is able to change He's just a really, really dope artist. I will say that. Track three, Never Letting You. Now, this is that love song, ladies, that has the lyrics that you want every man to tell you, right? So he talks about, I'm never letting you go. He talks about seeing this person. It makes you feel like, hey, we're going to be together forever. And that's really hard because I think a lot of times people experience, and I know ladies, ladies and men, I think it goes both ways now. I don't think it's just one one gender that experienced this problem but a lot of people have a hard time trying to be in a long-term relationship because it's either that person doesn't want to be together forever or they end up cheating or something like that happens so this is that song that makes you feel like okay maybe there are men that want to be with one person maybe there are men that are loyal maybe there are men that want to get married or maybe there are men that want to stay with you forever so that's why i like that record Track four, it's Paul Brown. This has to have a vocalist. Shout out to Sing Like Philly. Her voice is amazing. This song for me, it's called Handle, by the way. I like Handle because the way this song is, it reminds me of that music we grew up listening to, that R&B that was fun. You know, it wasn't it wasn't too slow you know it was like an R&B fun song that I could potentially see being a hit record I thought a Keisha Cole it was an artist that had a song back in the day that always sticks with me and I don't I'm sorry her man what is her name if I find her name I'll put it in here but anyway yeah like it's just that music like I should have cheated so like it has that vibe that upbeat vibe but it's it's like a classic you know that's how I look at track four and um I'm gonna tell y'all the genres I heard in it I heard funk pop R&B and some of the tracks also have like a hint of hip-hop in there so I like how I see why he asks what genre is this because his music definitely presents different sounds all over like you really probably won't be able to pinpoint one genre so he did a really good job with that all right track five is my favorite 
my absolute favorite, okay? And I'm pretty sure you guys are going to love it as well. So, it's featuring T-Fly, and it's called Good Time Annie. The reason I like this song is because it reminds me of a Chris Brown hit record. Super upbeat, but it, it makes you want to dance. Like, I really hope that he shoots a music video for this. It's Paul Brown, if you're listening to me. Shoot a music video, have dancers, make sure they have a choreography down, and it's going to be amazing. Like, this song is so great. Yeah, so it's, it's really like a pop record. I like, I like track five. Track six, F the Radio is funny. But I like it because he tells his story. He talks about getting his song on the radio, song and video played on BET, then on MTV, being involved with labels, having a child, just all these experiences. But he wants the fans to know that they are key and they are important. And essentially, the song is called F the Radio, so you know where that's going. But anyway, I want y'all to listen to it. When y'all listen to it, tell me what genre you heard. Because for me, it was pop, funk, R&B. Uh, a little bit of hip hop there, there's a lot but it sounds so good and that's why I think it'll hit multiple people and various people will be able to feel exactly what he was talking about but let me know in the comments what you guys think it's Paul Brown what genre is this okay that's what the review was on so when it comes out because it didn't come out yet alright when it comes out please tell me what you guys thought thanks for watching oh yeah by the way subscribe please if you didn't subscribe yet subscribe 